I think I found the newest addition to our house. Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Jordan Beck. And I'm Elytra Beck. And this is Around the World Beck. For those of you that are new here, we currently live in England with the goal of hitting 50 countries while living overseas. This is country number 16, Switzerland. This is actually part two of our Switzerland video. So if you didn't catch the first one, click the card up above and that way you can get caught up on all of our crazy adventures so far. Also, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button down below. It really helps the channel out and means a lot to us. All right, let's get started. Zermont. Thus far in our adventures, we have gone paragliding, <coughs> nighttime sledding. Let's say you're traveling down at maximum speed. You probably don't put your leg out at 90 degrees, huh? <laughs> Start in and just run it out a little bit. And taking a bunch of trains which is how we got to our city today, Zermont. Zermont is a beautiful picturesque town with small little village and mountains surrounding the entire village with the sun just beaming its rays through the tree line. The hotel we're staying at here is a lot nicer than the one we've been staying the past couple of nights. Definitely more room and it has an amazing view of the Matterhorn or as the later calls it, Mount Crumpet. When we left the station, we ended up walking to our hotel later to find out that they have these uh, golf cart-esque transportation systems to the hotel. I guess the city's too small to fit normal cars, so they've retrofitted these golf carts to transport people around. It's a pretty cool system. This town seems to be a little bit more touristy than the ones that we've been in thus far. With the way the buildings are stacked on top of each other, it's somewhere between like Whoville and Hogsmeade. I'm here for the vibe, loving it. It's also a bit warmer here. I don't know if it's just because we're closer to the sun or what, but I'm only wearing like a light sweater right now, which, uh, much appreciated after I've been wearing four pairs of pants the last couple days. <laughs> I feel like I can move. After walking around for some time, we've come to the conclusion that it's going to be very expensive to eat here in Zamat. Going to between the different restaurants, we're looking at roughly 35 to 40 francs per meal per person. That's one dish. So we decided we're going to skip the expensive meals, unfortunately, and just go to the grocery store. And after stopping at the grocery store, we were able to get two meals with plenty of extras and even snacks for about 50 francs. It's a way better deal in my opinion but you can't miss out on all the things. So we're gonna come back here at about nine o'clock where we're gonna have some chocolate fondue. In the meantime, we're just gonna go back to the hotel and enjoy our warm food. So sometime later, we're back out at night. We have dawn warmer clothes because the temperature has dropped significantly. As you can see my breath, it's about 23 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm definitely ready for some warm fondue chocolate. Let's go. The restaurant that we had reservations at, we found out was 125 years old. They actually had a special anniversary menu that you could choose from. We skipped that. We decided to choose from their fondue selection. They seem to have quite a few options. Um, we got the milk chocolate and the dark chocolate fondue. And what I've discovered is I much prefer the chocolate fondue over cheese fondue. Like anyone's surprised. Now we are just gonna be closing up the night. They've got lots of Christmas lights going on right now. We're gonna see the beautiful village all lit up and then we will catch you guys tomorrow morning.
Good morning. So far this morning, we've checked out of our hotel, had a nice breakfast. There's a lot better selection than the previous hotels. And we've taken a taxi from the hotel over here to Zermatt train station, where we'll be boarding the Glacier Express, the slowest express train in Switzerland. It's finally here and I'm so excited. Just look at the panoramic windows. and That's gonna be amazing views the entire duration. It's super slow express train, but let me tell you, it's very popular and I had to book tickets about a month and a half ago. So I'm glad that it's finally working out. And let's go on board so we can talk some more. The views here are absolutely beautiful. When we first got on though, it was a bit freezy. Um, I guess the train had been sitting out for a while, but they made it up to us where we had some free warm hot chocolate, much appreciated. Um, we're on this train for about three and a half hours. We're only taking it halfway. We're gonna stop at Andernat and get off. You can go much further. Um, however, it's much more expensive than the way that Jordan did it. We ended up kind of riding this train for free. It was bundled in with the rest of our travel. Um, Otherwise, quite a bit more. And then they do have food that you can get here. However, we've decided to bring our lunch. Glacier Express was a lot of fun. I'm glad we did it, but I'm also glad we didn't do the entire thing. Uh, it's kind of the same thing after a while, beautiful scenery, and you just kind of sit there listening to the occasional chime, or you can listen to some uh, interesting facts about the region. But we hopped off at Andermatt, and we're gonna make our way towards Zurich for our final destination in Switzerland. So we're gonna be taking, I believe it's three trains using the Eurorail Pass. So all this will be covered, but we've got three trains, so let's count them, ready? One, two, three. And boom, just like that, we're at the hotel. Just gotta check in and drop our bags off. It's already getting to be nighttime, so we're gonna kinda hurry, gotta do some of the logistical stuff, the like COVID test and check in for our flight and, and PLF and all that boring stuff. But we gotta hurry because the lights are starting to turn on, we wanna check out the Christmas stuff. Our initial plan, or more Jordan's initial plan when we left the hotel, was to go ice skating. However, I've never done that before. So lucky for me, because it's Christmas Eve Eve, it was actually closed at five o'clock, which um, I'm okay with that. Cause it wasn't feeling like falling on my face tonight. Instead, we're just gonna explore the old town, uh, see some of the nightlife, loving the Christmas vibes, maybe a Christmas market, not really sure. We're just gonna see what we can find and we'll catch you guys tomorrow morning. getting some chimney cakes. I'm so excited. We haven't had one of these since we went to Budapest. So excited about these, like unnecessarily excited. This one, she put Nutella on the inside, which is different than what we've had before, but they make it fresh right there to order. And uh, I'm about to burn my fingers trying to try this. Oh my gosh, it's amazing.
Good morning and Merry Christmas Eve to everybody. So far today we've checked out of the hotel, left our luggage there, and made our way over here for our last day in Switzerland. We've made it to arguably the best spot for last, the Lint Chocolate Factory, home of chocolate. Behind me is a brand new museum that opened in September 2020, and they have a variety of different experiences and tours, but because today is Christmas Eve, it seems that they only have the standard tour, which we'll be doing today. So let's go inside. If you saw part one of this video, you know that we absolutely adore chocolate. So I'm really excited for, day, for today's tour. It looks like there is a cafe over there and definitely a shop behind us, which we're have to head up at the end. But for now, I think you just grab some audio guides and then you'll be able to walk around, tap them as you go so you can hear the different parts of the tour. I think it'll take us through like the history of chocolate, why it's so important to Switzerland and uh, maybe, fingers crossed, get to try some tasting. I think we've gotten to the best part of the tour, the tasting. I think I found the newest addition to our house. My goodness, if you like chocolate, that's the tour for you. The place is incredible. And upon immediately walking in, you see the giant chocolate fountain, which is the world's largest chocolate fountain at 30 feet tall with 1500 liters of real chocolate being poured. Uh, can, I, can I swim in that? <laughs> You think they would hate me for that? Probably, right? Yeah, but, you'd I mean, be like a, what is it, Augustus Gloop? You could swim in it once, right? <laughs> and then you're banned from yeah. Switzerland forever. It was really cool. I think uh, we were pretty dead on about what to expect from the tour. What we said before we started is pretty much what you got. Um, it was a good time. Definitely interesting. Um, reminded me a bit of the tour that we did in Barcelona, but that one was more chocolate, less history. This one was more history, but you know, pristine chocolate. You could, you could have arguably more chocolate than the previous tour because- uh, There's no limit. <laughs> there, there really isn't. You could, you could keep sneaking back and grabbing more chocolate. I don't think they really would care. There's not even anybody there like watching you. So you could just like put your hand, piece of candy, ooh, piece of candy. <laughs> but it is definitely worth the money because it is really interesting to learn the history of chocolate and how important it is to Switzerland and how Switzerland is known for their chocolate, as well as just the innovation that they put into the, like the different style of telling the story and oh the you get to try the different types of chocolate just i love it it's definitely worth the price and get your fair share of your chocolate <laughs> and we got some souvenirs for the fam i think we got enough chocolate what do you guys think <laughs> But yeah, all right. That pretty much wraps up the chocolate part. And we're gonna do a little bit of exploring of the city this afternoon and then make our way to the airport where unfortunately we have to go home. But The week long journey in Switzerland is finally coming to an end, but oh my goodness, has it been so much fun. Yeah, And thank you guys so much for watching. We really appreciate it. If you haven't already, subscribe down below. Helps us out a lot. We're about, 700 subscribers right now which feels really cool so thank you all and um if you want to leave a comment tell us where we should go next all right guys thanks so much for joining us and we'll see you next time bye, bye.